This is actually my first shoe from Hoka. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. Coming over their, uh, their website, I saw these. They were a new arrival. Um, these are a lifestyle, hiking style shoe. As you can tell, the utility style look. And it's a little bit slimmer, I guess, as far as the midsole is concerned. And I just like the silhouette. So that's why I picked these up. So let's get into the traction. As far as the outsole is concerned, most hiking, training, uh, trail running shoes that you would see nowadays, they have this Vibram uh, outsole. This rubber is extremely durable uh, for hiking and trail running, and it's pretty tacky as well. So initially when you put it on, you can really feel just the grip that it does provide on whatever surface you decide on using. Um, and like I said, it is durable. You can feel the actual toughness from it. Um, that is it is gonna last a little bit longer than normal uh, rubber outsole. So uh, it's obviously good because a lot of shoes and companies are using it um, on their trail running, hiking style shoe, okay? So it's a really nice outsole. It's black on this particular colorway. Now as we move on up to the midsole, on the website, they're just calling this an EVA foam. I'm not entirely sure exactly what it's made up of, but it is gray on this style shoe and it is lightweight. So uh, that's one thing that I did notice with these shoes, it is pretty lightweight. Um, when I put my foot in the shoe, I've been wearing them around a little bit. It is, initially it's kind of uh, hard or stiff. Just over the few times that I have put them on, I felt like that it's kind of adapted or kind of molded to my foot a little bit. Um, so I think, in my opinion, after a few uses, maybe you know down the road this shoe will break in and it'll be really comfortable. You can see that the design uh, that they have all the way through the, the midsole, there's kind of a creased breakup with this design where it's kind of uh, cut out in the middle of the midsole. I think that's gonna help uh, absorb or respond to some of the movements or running compact that you would end up doing on whatever you decide on doing it, whether you're walking or running or trailing or hiking or whatever. Now as we move on up, the, the material used in this particular colorway, uh, the transport, it's called Cordura. Uh, on the website it says that that material is, and it's an abrasive uh, material, so basically essentially it's supposed to eliminate scratches, or at least being able to see scratches on the on the shoe. Uh, I, I, I can tell right away that this it's almost like a textile feel on the shoe. Um, now as you can see, you know, medi uh, medial all the way around the lateral side, there's a couple different tones of gray. I really like that. There is a couple different colorways. I scooped on this one just because I was kind of looking for a shoe that was kind of this colorway, the gray. That's kind of in, in my opinion, right now. Now, uh, the toe box, there is a little bit more reinforced area for high wear areas for running shoes. So there's a little bit more durable um, materials here, so it won't tear, but the lighter gray tone all the way up to the dark gray looks really good. You have the Hoka uh, logo on the on the heel, on the, the lateral side, and then the uh, cool little design on the in, inside uh, heel area. Now, the, the collar, the heel collar is actually, it's pretty padded. I, I noticed that right off the bat, um, the way that it's designed, it's it's stiff and it's it's nice, but when your foot is in, in the shoe, um, it sits nice up against that pad and it's pretty comfortable. I like the way that it feels on foot. Um, so that was one feature that I, I thought was really good. I also like the heel loop. It's really simple, but it's it's almost like a shoestring. It's part of the shoestring. It's the same material, looks the same, but it's, it's effective. You know, you're able to slide your foot on re really easy now. Uh, Moving to the tongue, it's kind of a thin padded tongue and it's attached to the midfoot. A lot of shoes that you want a little bit more compressive feel uh, around the foot, they do that. They attach this uh, little new print sleeve to the midfoot of the inside of the shoe and it kind of gives you a nice little lockdown feel. Uh, and with the laces, there's a couple different features here. They, they added some regular laces if you if that's the type of uh, you know person you are as far as uh, shoes is concerned, but they they give you and it comes with this quick toggle uh, lace lacing system. This is actually the, the first time that I've used it or I'm going to use a, a toggle lace system. I like it. it, it works really easy. You can really loosen up your shoe fast or tighten it up. Um, and then they give you actually this little elastic loop at the bottom of the, the, the tongue where you can tuck the excess uh, lace from the toggle underneath there so it's not flapping in the air or whatever when you're running around or anything like that so that's a cool feature too and then it adds the the hoka logo on the actual uh lace loop or that little elastic area down there so um 
cool feature. Like I said, it is pretty easy to, to, to loosen and tighten it. Some of the reviews I've heard on the shoe is it doing that with the toggle, it's hard to get your foot in, it crumps the, the tongue. So you have to kind of like readjust it and it gets all you know clumpy in there. I haven't had an issue with that at all. So um, that's not something I, I think is gonna be a prob problem at all with the shoe. Like I said, the overall weight um, and the heel drop, if you go online and you, and you search these shoes out on Hoka, it gives you all the information that's needed, like the heel drop, what the weight is, all of that information's on there. The, the website is actually, it's a really good website as far as information for each shoe whether you're looking for a wide, uh, neutral, balanced, what type of shoe you're actually looking for, it's all on there. This shoe, uh, my foot is narrow. This shoe is kind of a narrow feeling shoe. Um, so if you are a wide footer, I think there is an option to go wide versus standard. Um, but this shoe fits true to size for me. Um, and it comes in at 140, which is a good price considering the shoes that are on Hoka. Usually they're anywhere from 160 to 200. Um, and I, I landed on these a little bit um during sp the spring there was a there was a deal that i was able to get and i got the shipping pretty uh, expedited so like it was next day or something on there so just when you are doing something like that be sure to, to research it out you could probably find some deals like that so overall the shoe's pretty cool i'm excited to kind of try these things out being that they're the first hoka uh shoe that i've owned i'm looking forward to scooping up a couple more um but yeah man like i said dude i don't normally do this but when i do a shoe review Peace. I'm out of here.